Hi guys, Chef Kevin Belton here. I don't know about you all, but I tell you what, in Louisiana, we have had six, count them, six hurricanes. So what possessed me to come up, deal, let's deal with another disaster. Let's make an earthquake cake. So why not with everything going on? Now, this is, this is a cake where it doesn't have to be pretty, but it is gonna taste fantastic. So what I've done, I've taken, now, it calls for a 9 by 13 pan, okay? Some 9 by 13 pans are sharp, and they're only a 2 quart. You want to make sure you at least have a 3 quart 9 by 13 pan. So basically, you want something with, with deep sides to it, okay? Because, and if you don't, if you think it might spill over, put a pan underneath it in case it boils over, like that earthquake, like a volcano, all right? It won't dirty your stove. It'll just get caught on the pan. I mean, so oven. I'm sorry? Your oven. Your oven. That's right. Thank you, dear. So here, all I've done, I've sprayed the pan really well. And I have two cups of shredded coconut. Now, I'm just going to spread the coconut from the bottom of the pan. And you know what's great about this? You know, I always talk about getting kids involved. This is something that, hey, it doesn't matter which direction it goes. As long as it gets in there, we're going to do a cup of pecans. These are just chopped pecans. You know, I'm using pecans. Hey, whatever you might have, walnuts, peanuts, almonds. But I'm going to go with pecans. And you know, if you have friends that are real detail, when you put something in, if they're watching, you go, ooh, 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 ooh. And they're like, well, why'd you move those from there to there? And you can tell them like, well, you know, if you have too many pecans in one spot, it turns bitter. You know, that, that's not true. That's just to tell your friends to just to drive them crazy. Now, this, the easy way of doing this is just using a box cake mix, a chocolate cake mix, okay? This would be the easy way to do this, but no. I decided, let's take it on the hard way. Basically, I have three cups of cake flour. I have a quarter cup of cocoa powder. So we're just going to get that cocoa powder mixed in right quick with our three cups of the cake flour. Now, Monica talked real bad about me earlier because I was going to break out the mixer to do this. And she says, your grandma didn't have a mixer. And I'm like, yes, dear. All right. No, grandma didn't have a mixer. So oh, look at this when I had it wrapped earlier. Okay. So in here, we're going to pop in two cups of sugar. Yep. Yeah. Two cups of sugar, that's right. We want this to be nice and sweet. I have three eggs. And I have about a cup and a quarter of milk. So let's get the eggs in. See, and I just kind of, you know, just kind of beat those in. They'll get in there. Let's start getting some of the milk in. See, that's what's nice with doing it this way. Hey, you just want to make sure... You're getting the bottom down there. Now, I tell you what, I've done this before because I'm not so much a baker. Well, one time I was making a cake and I was kind of eyeballing everything and I made my batter too loose. It took forever for that cake to bake. This will normally bake in about 40, 45 minutes. That's if I don't get it too wet, okay? If I get it too wet, and eh, we're just going to have to go a little longer. Okay. See, it's coming together. Let's go ahead and get the last little bit of our milk in. So, like I said, that was a cup and a quarter of milk. I uh, just have to take our time. Making sure that we get the bottom. And you see, this way, if you don't have any... If, if you just keep... Mom always used to keep the, the cake flour you know that the, the what is it swans cake flour because that way she can make any kind of cake she wanted to she never kept the boxes she just kept the cake flour to make any one that she wanted to so there we go look at that see nice and good got a few chunks in there but that's okay now all we have to do is pour it right on in all right come on pan grip it don't drop it Oh, let's get all of the sides.
you know, and that's that's the great thing about this. And you know, I know they are they're dump cakes and things like that. This earthquake cake, you're gonna see, I guess, why they call it why they named it earthquake cake. Now I just like to take a spoon and kind of move things around a little bit just to make sure everything's covered. All right, but this doesn't really have to be so neat. Now, what I have here, butter and cream cheese, all right? Just softened, had it at room temperature, okay? And I just wanna cream these together right quick. So let's just get our mixer. Now, powdered sugar. We're gonna add three cups of powdered sugar to this. And I'm gonna add about a cup at a time. And you know, this is where I always get just covered with powdered sugar, powdered sugar. But it'll come together. Break out the power twos. You know, I, I can imagine, I can remember days when grandmother used to have to do this by hand. I mean, I don't know why, gang, but everything tasted just so good. All right, start this on low. So let's turn it up. Thank you, Monica. Monica suggested that if I turned it up faster, that it, 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 would, it would be better if I started slow and went faster. But uh, you can see what's happening. You know who's gonna have to clean this up? Me. Oh, thank you very much. You know, I clean as I go. You know, I grew up with um, mom saying, you know, hey, you have to clean as you go because it tastes different if you don't. So let's try this a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this up, gang. Oh yeah, come on. Let's just go for it at this point. All right. I tell you what, gang, I think that's good. That has got us. Anybody want the beaters? Was this your favorite part? You know, and my mom had a sense of humor. One time my mom, I hate to say this, I hate to talk about it. My mom gave me the beaters while it was still attached to the mixer and she had the mixer plugged in. And she says, if you don't pay attention to me and listen to me when I correct you, I will turn this on when you get the beaters. And I'm like, yes, ma'am. So I, um, yeah, I always listen to your mom. I always listen to her. I shouldn't say that because I'm sure, you know, they call child services now if somebody did that. So here, let's just take this. We're just gonna put globs of it on We'll kind of put it evenly spaced. All right. Well, maybe not so evenly spaced. But you get the point. It's not supposed to be pretty. There's no rhyme or reason. You know, this is great these days to have the kids do something like this because that way they can get all their frustrations out. I'm tired of being on that computer, having school online, but hey. We make whatever works work. Okay, we got a little bit more in here. Now let's just add to this one right here. There we go. Look how easy, gang. Last, let's take some chocolate chips. Have a cup of chocolate chips. And we're just gonna put them all over the top. Now the oven is preheating. 350 degrees. Um, I've had it on, warming up. And you know, remember I told you about, you know, cleaning as you go. Let me just wipe off this counter a little bit because you know, mom would be on me if I didn't. All right, we got that wiped up. Now let's pop this baby in the oven. Now remember, like I said, it's gonna take about 40, 45 minutes to cook. But don't worry, if you make your batter a little too loose, 
Just has to cook a little longer, but let me grab the one. Ta-da! This is how it's gonna look. And what happens is when it bakes, oh man, it's all nice, it's all puffed up, it's fluffy, it looks fantastic. And then after it sits out of the oven for a couple of minutes, this is what happens. Looked like it's been in an earthquake, okay? So I guess that's why they call it a wonderful earthquake cake. Now, here, remember, I did coconut pecans. Don't like coconut, leave it out. Don't like pecans, leave those out. Substitute them with peanuts, almonds, walnuts. Reese's whatever. peanut butter cups. Reese's peanut butter cups. Ooh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, that'll work. I wonder if you can make, with Halloween coming up, a Halloween earthquake cake with all the little Halloween candies. Cause you know how the kids bring all the little candies home, fold that in. But I tell you what, this is one of those things that, uh, this is great for grandparents to make when the kids are over. That way you can send them back home on that sugar rush, okay? Or this is great to make when the kids back to school next year. Send them to school on that sugar rush. All right, all right, all right. I, I'm sorry, gang, all right? But I tell you what, try the recipe. I think you like it. I, I, I really uh, love that y'all come hang out with me to watch me do this stupid stuff and be stupid and put up with me, you know? I want everybody, please be safe out there. We're thinking about all of you, everybody in line for this hurricane. You know, do what you have to do. Take care of yourself. Always remember, again, keep washing those hands, masking up, doing what you're doing to stay safe. All right, have yourself a fantastic afternoon for WWL. I'm Chef Kevin Belton, and thank you for hanging out with me today. We'll see you soon. Someone said to cut it, but we're going to post a picture. We're going to post a picture, gang. We'll cut it and post your picture.